All right, so our next hip measurement is going to be hip abduction. We'll do adduction, adduction next. So for this, you wanna have the patient scoot to the other side of the table as far as they can. So can you scoot over to that side for me? Good. And then you're just gonna, and this one you're gonna really have to stand for. Um, some of the hip ones you can sit for, but this one you're gonna have to stand for. Sorry to my cameraman. Um, so what I want you to do, Karen, is just keep your leg straight, your knee straight, and bring your leg out as far as you can like that, okay? So normal range for this is 40 degrees. It's gonna be a, a firm in feel. Can you do that for me? Good. And so how you're gonna line this up, your bony landmarks that you're looking for is the anterior superior iliac spine. So you can find those by just finding the spine, the uh, Ilia, spine of the ilia, right? Your iliac spine here and then just follow it down. And as you come down around, you'll hit the spot where it's the highest and then it will drop off. Once you hit the drop off, you've gone too far back up just to that little bump. And they should be pretty much aligned um, unless they've got pelvic misalignment. Um, and that's something we'll learn how to fix in Therix. So here are those rehearsal. So one of your fulcrum starts here, right, on one of them. And then the other, um, your proximal arm, sorry, your proximal arm will go right across to the other and will point right over it. Good. And then this, your distal arm, is going to point right to the middle of the patella. Okay, so mid patella right there. Okay, and so I'll show you guys here in a second. Um, you're gonna use a different set of numbers. Well, I'll show you right now. If you can see those, um, the red outside numbers, because we're starting at a 90 degree already, if you'll start with the red outside numbers to read, it'll give you the proper reading that you want for the movement, okay? All right, so let me find those again. Right there, right there, and then mid patella, okay? And then go ahead and do that action for me, please, Karen. Good, I'm just gonna follow it out. Try not to rotate if you can, good. And she has actually 45 degrees, so she's a little bit um, hypermobile there. Um, but it, that's normal. There's a little variation between person to person. And so that's how you do hip abduction.